All right, hello there. It is day number 316 complete. Hi there, Pathwalker here. You know, I'm that guy. I upload the daily videos every day. Daily videos every day. I upload daily videos about my day, how it went, did I do everything I planned on doing or not, the plan for the next day, assess things, good, bad, what have I learned, anything like that, and I just share with you guys. We're getting closer and closer to that uh, 365 day mark, right? Uh, one year. So today was an interesting day. This is going to be the latest upload that you will see from me as it is, um, it is 8.37 a.m. Very late upload. However, that said, it's actually not that bad and i'll explain so last night okay if we didn't floss we didn't sleep on time last night we ended up um going to sleep at about 8 30 a.m again two times in a row it seems like the moment that, that's the kind of what goes on in my mind oh well you know last time i went to bed it was this time, so I kind of still get away with that again. I think that's the trick that goes on in my head. And, you know, I went to sleep at 8.30 a.m., and then I woke up, and it was um, about 4 p.m. No, I think it was about 5 p.m., and then I decided to... Um, go to and then i ended up staying in bed for about like an hour i kind of got out of bed for 30 minutes but then i got back in bed for about an hour or whatever again one hour of scrolling is not the worst but it is what it is that said we did everything else um and oh actually the one thing we didn't do abstinence i know i said i was like come on let's get this final day until the end of may i mean uh, it, it definitely was a fail, like in my, I don't want to get too graphic or too descriptive about it, but essentially looking at any porn of any form counts, even if it's small. And I was tricking myself into thinking, oh, just let's look at something just for a little bit or something. And that's all it was. But to me, that still is, that still is failing. Like there's no, there's no like, oh, just a little bit that this doesn't work like that. So anyways, um, but we cleaned our car granted we had our egg meal we showered we cleaned our car thoroughly car looks great uh we went rock climbing a little bit after uh now now it was late and i ended up going rock climbing really late to the point that it was my first time staying there until they closed at 10 p.m and i ended up um but i still ended up having a good workout uh we're in a good session and then we got home and I just felt tired for some reason. And I ended up um, kind of just staying in bed until like 2 a.m. Like I got home around 11 p.m. And then I stayed kind of in bed a little bit here and there until actually 1 a.m. I was just on my phone, but kind of just resting really. I was just tired. I just really wasn't in the mood to do anything. And then I very thoroughly cleaned my room. I mean, my room right now is whew, very clean uh so is the bathroom and then i and i just did a very nice like everything feels nice and clean exactly like what i wanted to do the car is great bathroom's great i vacuumed my room and the bathroom i didn't vacuum anywhere else but that's fine and here we are so the breakdown is over here um the plan for tomorrow and this is where it's the interesting part i don't know if the last time i did one of these um i am not going to be writing the schedule for tomorrow and i don't mean that in a bad way i feel like in in a sense i'm thinking let's just let things be let's just have a day of no pressure no thing that i keep thinking i want to do just nothing and uh, potentially I'll, I'll actually upload the video for this day kind of like the next day so on thursday not even wednesday night um and just just have no pressure i'm going to do whatever 
but at the same time part of this whatever might may include me just not sleeping now because it's 8 40 a.m i feel like i could go to sleep now but then wake up late again and then the schedule is all up in here so i'm thinking why don't we try to just you know because if you stay up like 24 hours and then i wake up and suddenly it's the morning and then that works out i'm thinking why don't i try something like that but i'm just going to do whatever i i sent some messages to some friends i i spoke to some people and yeah i feel good uh, maybe i'll see my family i don't know just hanging out today maybe i'll play some video games i'm just gonna do whatever um just not scroll that's the only thing i don't want to do i got a movie i'm interested in watching right now but yeah that's that's the plan so um no schedule first time in a long time for this sleep will keep it there nutrition uh we could keep it there rock climbing everything else is good family friends romantic we could keep everything basically where it is now uh the only thing that i will change a vacuum you could put a green because I need the other place needs to be vacuumed, but my room and bathroom are vacuumed. This is going to be a really rare sight. This is something I didn't think I would show in a long time. Uh, which one was it? I think it was, I think that's the dark blue. This is the light blue. Hold on. Yeah, we are doing a blue I've and a deep blue, not even a light blue. We are doing a mid-tier blue on the map right now. This is the first time. I mean, we are really clean. Now, cleaning, this is obviously something that goes up and down like regularly. It's just general maintenance. But now, uh, how thoroughly clean everything is, like, you know, I feel really nice about this. So... At least there's that, right? Um, this is the last month of May that's coming up right now. And I feel like the last month of May, <laughs> the last day of May. And I think that I'm in an interesting boat right now um, because I was thinking about how this month didn't really go as well as I would have liked it to go. And again, we're struggling with the sleep, with the abstinence. I mean, like I remember it was two and a half months ago that I had that super solid commitment of saying, no more porn, we're gonna just get everything resolved, we're just gonna do it. And then here we are two and a half months later and we still haven't managed to get the sleep to where I want it to. We still struggle with the, you know, pornography. Um, so it's been, you know, an, a, still an uphill battle. And obviously I'm trying to analyze and think, well, what do I do about this whole sleep situation? I think there have been some things that help. Um, but I think actually, like I had these notes, right? Like this one, think about how awesome it feels when you stick to your foundation. I'm thinking because I, I have it on my desk, but I like never really look at it. And now I'm actually thinking I'm going to do that thing where, you know, you put those sticky notes on your monitor. I want that. I'm thinking of just putting this here just so that it's like a, a clear reminder. Like I look at my monitor. This is my main monitor every day. I have three monitors and I put it right at the middle bottom of uh, my middle monitor. So there's no way I'm not going to see that. Right. And I feel like that at least because I wrote it down and I would tell myself these things, but I, I keep forgetting about it, right? So that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully that does something, but, um, you know, I feel like there's a lot that I uh, haven't been able to accomplish. Maybe not quite a lot, but more so that the sleep in particular, how I talk about it being the number one priority and I highlight it all the time and I go, come on, let's just like do it and we still can't do it. You know, I thought about it and I, and I realized that I think one of the biggest reasons why this happens is because I end up, um, I end up 
having this period at the very end of my day that I still want to like watch a show or play a game, but then that's way too late. It goes too late. Like if I wanted two hours of just leisure time, me time, whatever, and I want to go to sleep at 4 a.m., then I have to finish everything, wrap everything up and have everything done by 2 a.m. And that's it. And so I think that's where this is, where a disconnect happens because I'm letting myself finish like right about at 4 a.m. But then I'm like, oh, but now I want some time to watch a show and everything. I don't want to go to bed right now. I think that is really a realistic reason for why this is happening. Um, the other solution to this is flipping the script a bit and just being like, okay, well, let's just have our fun, awesome time, uh, before, right. But just, I don't know, even the, when I even say it, even just as a possibility, I don't like it. I don't like it. I just, I feel like I've been so conditioned to having some me time, whether it's video games or whatever, before bed and nothing else so if that's what i need to do then that's what i'm gonna do you know like unless i'm I, unless it's a day where i was streaming but even even that i'm even doing it even a day that i'm streaming and i really like it when my streams can you know go later and uh, to do this so that i can you know, have some fun with my viewers and whatnot but um i think we're just gonna do that I think I'm just going to plan everything out to be like, look, we're just going to have everything done no matter what, 2 a.m., no ifs, ands, or buts. If it's a stream, then that means my stream has to finish at 2 a.m. And that, that does feel awkward because of my current setup. So I need to think of some solution to that. But I just can't have this continue to go on where I'm just pushing. Because I, I just I, it ends up being like 4.30 a.m. or 5 a.m. And I'm like, I still want to watch a little bit more like I have that like that's going on. I don't have this pull. And I, I, and, I and I think this is important because I, you know, especially uh, one of my friends that I talked to about this is like, you don't want it enough. You're just just do it. That pull like, yeah, one night or a few nights, I, I'm sure I could have it where I'm like, OK, no, this is good for me. Let me do it. It It, it comes and goes really like unless unless i have this practice maybe i maybe reading this uh, sticky note that i have on my monitor now is going to help or just always telling myself or talking to myself and saying unless i make it a pattern that way and maybe maybe that is what this is you see i'm i'm, I'm figuring this out right now i'm not i'm i don't have everything figured out at all but maybe that is something that needs to happen right because at the end of the day what i mentioned with change is it's about habit forming and habit forming takes time of doing something that you haven't been doing before, especially for years or decades even. And now suddenly you're wanting to change the way you've been doing things for so long. Your body's going to resist. You're like, no, I'm used to having an hour or two before bed of playing video games or whatever. I'm used to this. I don't want to change that. And you need to tell yourself, well, what if we did change that? What if we did just remove that aspect and got used to that? And maybe that's what it is. Maybe, maybe it is about kind of muscling through these early stages and talking about it. And especially rationally talking about it. It's like I could tell myself right now and say, what am I gaining from this? Why do I need this? Why don't I just go to sleep, wake up early, feeling good? You know, um, so that's what I think I'm going to do. I think I think we're go I'm going to I'm going to just try to stick to the sticky note that I have in front of me and tell myself, you know, right now, like, look, um, we're going to have to muscle through this one and just be like and, and, and that's why my plan right now is for me to uh, kind of stay up as long as I can today without sleeping so that I can wake up and it'll be like morning, like six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 a.m., I don't know. And then from there, I'll be able to much more easily go to sleep when I want to, but then the challenge is going to be maintaining that. 
And now that I kind of feel like I can really set the tone now and I can get a streak going, I hope that that can be my motivator to not break that streak. So that's the plan that I have. Again, as I mentioned, I'm on my vacation for the next you know, two weeks or so. And I'm, I'm looking forward to being able to um, just have each day be special without me scrolling on my phone or anything, getting the sleep. If we can maintain abstinence, that's great. We're going to obviously still be doing our rock climbing every now and then. But things are just much more open now. So I feel good about this plan. Um, I really hope I can really make a good run for the sleep this time and the abstinence and let you guys know. But yeah, I feel good. I feel good about this, this, uh, this direction. So I'll leave you guys with that. Let me know what you think. Do you think I'm being dumb? Do you think this is a bad idea? Do you think you have a better idea? Or are you going through something similar? Do you struggle with your sleep? Hey, if you figured out your sleep, if you had problems with your sleep and you figured out something that works, let me know. I'm all ears. But I'll leave you guys with that. Um, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.